Hello guys, I AppleOS here, and I have my Power Mac G5 from 2005 here. I have to say, it's a beautiful design. Aluminum, just like the, uh, the current MacBooks, all aluminum. Same color, got a giant Apple logo, which is uh, nice. Got two handles here and down here. Now on the back, you have uh, two visible fans right, right here. Have a, uh, you have three USB ports in the back. Firewire, Ethernet, all that good stuff. Two DVI ports here. And, uh, yeah. Got the, uh, power cord right here. I have the keyboard connected, which, uh, I don't have the original keyboard. But, this is the keyboard I have. So, here's the Power Mac G5. It is pretty heavy, weighing in about 55 pounds, so this is a very heavy computer. But the things I like about this is it's extremely easy to take apart. Lift this up, and then this will literally just fall out like that. So take that out, and you can see the insides of this computer, which this definitely looks beautiful. I have to say, you got the the G5 processor in there. You can actually have this uh, plastic layer as well, which you could just take out. Now you have a cleaner look inside the computer. So in here I have an 80, 80 gigabyte hard drive, which you actually have room for two hard drives, which is pretty cool. This doesn't have Wi-Fi built in, but you could add it, which uh, is a kind of a bummer since everything now requires Wi-Fi. You have Eight slots for RAM, four on the top, four on the bottom. I have like about two gigs in there, I believe. So uh, that's not much. It's shipped with 512, which is nothing. But you could add up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty insane. That's uh, that's a good amount of RAM, I have to say. And this thing, I have to tell you, when you start doing stuff, it gets noisy as hell. It's extremely loud. So. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is the uh, computer. Front side of it. Back side of it. Got the top side. I'm not going to flip it on the bottom. It's nothing really interesting. It's basically the same thing as the top. And it is heavy as hell. I'm not even joking. So this Mac ships with Mac OS 10.5. It's on Mac OS 10.5, which is Leopard. It was extremely difficult getting that up there. And uh, since this shipped with no hard drive, I bought this for about 50 bucks, which is not bad. I had to buy my own hard drive, so that's a little bit more money. But uh, these retail today for about 300 to 400 bucks, which is not a bad price considering I paid uh, 50 bucks for it. And uh, at the time when this came out, this costed users about $2,000, so uh, that's a lot of money for a computer, even to today's standards. And uh, yeah, we've got the basic uh, Mac OS Leopard. There's no, uh, there's no launch pad, which I found interesting. You have to actually go into Finder, Applications, there is that. And then this is where all your applications would be. So uh, a lot more stuff to take. I didn't install anything on it yet. Um, I only have an 80 gigabyte hard drive in there right now. I might get another one. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Here it is. Here's something I'm going to try. I have an iPod Touch first generation. So, uh, this is the one without a speaker. Let me just flip it over just to show you. iPod 1. And, uh, let's plug this into this computer. This is on stock Leopard. No, uh, updates or anything. So, uh, let's see what happens on the computer. It charges. So, uh, the computer is asking me to uh, download photos, which there's no photos on it, it's just a couple of screenshots. So I'm going to exit out of that. And uh, iTunes, which is trying to open, is giving me an error message saying the iPod 1G cannot be used because it requires iTunes version 8.2 or later. So I'm going to have to download the latest version of iTunes, which you can't, or at least... You can't download the latest. You could probably download something later than what I have. Without Wi-Fi, you can't do that. 
So, uh, yeah. Okay, let's hook up my iPhone 7 onto uh, my Power Mac G5 from 2005. So I'm gonna have that plugged in. Charges up the phone. And uh, let's see what it says. Okay, here's what happened. It says uh, iPhone with the picture of the original iPhone. And uh, it shows no items, which they are no items. So uh, yeah, iTunes doesn't try to open unlike last time. So yeah.